Good morning, this is uh, Jeff with Frontline Animal, and we're just going to go over a little uh, mole activity this morning. Uh, this is a uh, classic star nose mole activity. I trap this yard every year, it's a contract, and uh, every year they show back up in the spring. It's classic star nose mole um, because it's, it's so wet. See, here's uh, I opened up the tunnel a little bit, and uh, I don't know if you can see that with a shadow or not, but uh, you can see the water in the bottom of the tunnel, and that's that's normal for star knolls. They're semi-aquatic. They have no problem in, in super wet ground. Uh, you can see the bottom of the tunnel is, is nice and smooth where their bellies have been rubbing through it. And uh, then you can see just a, a little bit of dirt that's just popped up on the surface, and that's that's normal for the star nose. They don't they don't leave the big mounds typically that I see with the eastern. So what we're going to do here, uh, we use the, uh, the Steve Albano uh, trap line product strap. It's the, called the Molinator. It's a one direction trap so we'll put two in every tunnel that I open up and uh, we're just going to insert this right, right up into the tunnel. I'll see if you can get a shot of that and that's uh, sitting right there and we're gonna put one going the other direction and we'll come back in a couple days and uh, I'm sure we'll have a couple of star nose moles good morning this is Jeff with Frontline animal removal again and we're uh, we're in another yard this is another contract for the year and uh, this is typically uh, once again all star nose moles uh, this yard is typically fairly wet most of the year. It's uh, low line and uh, it gets a lot of springtime damage from star nose. Uh, we're going to just show you um, the white flags indicate where my traps are and, and you can almost follow the trail I believe and you'll see the uh, the mounds of dirt and then uh, my flags are kind of uh, just following up the tunnel and um, and it ends right about here it goes down deep so uh, there's a total of I believe six traps here and we'll open some up and see if we have any here's another tunnel that I've set some traps in this is the same yard but now in the backyard uh, once again you can I think you can see some of the damage the tunnel just Going right down there. We're gonna open this one up and see if we've got anything. So here is. You can, I think you can. I think you can make out the tunnel. And let's remove the flag. And oh, there's another one. That is uh, mole number three out of this yard for this morning. Uh, I think I ended up with five or six the first check last week and uh, there's another another star nose mole uh, this guy was coming up the tunnel and uh, let's see what happens on the other side and that trap was not set off and here's what successful trapping looks like two star nose and here's the tunnel this is just a, uh, a tunnel coming out of the fields and uh, foraging out in this yard looking for uh, worms. Um, this is a job I set up the other day. Uh, it's a contract. We set it every year. Once again, a very wet backyard. And this is this is classic star nose mole. Um, he's got a little ditch that runs right through the backyard. And the moles just kind of follow this, and this is just going to be a good, good example of how well star nose moles do in really wet conditions. Um, if you can get a look down, this is kind of where I opened up into the tunnel. And as you can see, it's, it's basically, the tunnel is underwater. And uh, we're going to just try to reach down in here and see what we can find. And uh, there is one star nose mole and let's check the other one and there is 
two star nose moles so once again those traps are one directional so you have to set them back to back but here's a good instance of uh, the conditions a star nose mole likes to run around in typically when you start getting star nose you're going to have really really wet ground we either typically see it in yards that are always wet or people who irrigate uh, star nose are not we don't see them a whole lot in ohio but uh, i got a couple yards that that's all they produce every year but like i said typically you're going to see an, an eastern mole which is a slightly bigger mole um, has a, a much shorter tail and uh, doesn't quite get the it doesn't have all those little tentacles you see on the on the end of the nose Uh, this one's a little muddy, so it's hard to tell, but that's a uh, that's a star nose. You can it's easy to tell by the length of the tail. Thank you.